Guys, before we start this video, I need some serious help. As you can see, I have this lovely, I think it's a blanket I got from Walmart like years ago when Batman vs Superman came out. So I need help with this. I needed some advice. I'm going to turn you guys around or I'm going to jump on the other side. I have this beautiful, oh look at Henry Cavill there. I've got some bat flack there. So my question is, is I need blinds, which they don't really make Batman or Superman one. So I figured this would do. It, 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 it gets the sun out as you can see. But my problem is, is I don't know how to hang this. So I've been using duct tape as you can see, but the duct tape just keeps ripping off. And I taped it pretty well, but it's just, it keeps falling. I don't know if you guys have a better method for hanging this up, something I'm not thinking about. I guess I could just keep putting duct tape, but it just keeps falling down. It's driving me crazy. So yeah, it's pretty important. If you guys know anything, if you guys are like, you know, carpenters or construction workers, or I don't know, whatever profession does this, um, let me know, because I need to figure out how to hang this up. Let's do it. Academy. Hope everybody's having a phenomenal day. I hope you brought the hype with you. Today is going to be an insane unboxing here. We have tons of amazing stuff to get to. I have two awesome boxes, okay? One of these is from the Funko shop. Another one is from Box Lunch. And these have been sitting in my pop room here for about a week or so. They took a while to come in, honestly. Actually, this one might have been here for like two weeks. But anyway, I'm so excited to open these guys. There's some crazy pops, guys. Con stickers, official con stickers. You know I love those. These are my favorite. I am hyped up. I'm ready to go. I also have some of my like most recent pickups I just grabbed. I've been grabbing stuff at the store left and right, but I just want to show a few really cool ones I got off. Not everything, just a few quick ones. And I also have a question for you guys I got to get into real quick before we start unboxing. So before we start unboxing all this crazy Funko Pops, I need to ask you guys a very important question. Not that I'm trying to jump lanes or anything. I know a lot of pop YouTubers have been doing this lately. I've been looking a little bit into it. Catherine and I have been very addicted watching like, un I don't want to say unboxings, but opening packs, I will say. We are really getting on the Pokemon hype train, guys. I used to collect Pokemon cards way back in the day as a wee, wee, wee Todd, <laughs> wee lad, wee Todd, whatever you want to call it, okay? I, I probably had some really rare ones. I don't know where they are, but I opened a ton of packs as a kid. I played Yu-Gi-Oh, opened tons of stuff. So that nostalgia feel, the mystery feel, and I'm trying to get, uh, you know, used to the new type of packs that are out, what the best ones should be going for. You know, I can't buy any of the old packs that are going for thousands and thousands of dollars. But my main question is, guys, is should we start collecting Pokemon cards or should we not? Everyone being like, have fun with it, but don't be a completionist, which I wouldn't be, obviously. That's like probably next to impossible. But also, it's just, you don't want to start doing that because it's just going to take off kind of like what happened with the pops here. We got two pops and then now we're at 1400 plus. So let me know down below, guys, if we should start collecting Pokemon cards. And also let me know if you'd like to see that on the channel. I know Catherine's very interested in that as well. So maybe we'll buy a few packs, just test it out, see how it goes. Anyway, enough talking about Pokemon. Let's get into pops. So we're gonna start off with an amazing one I just picked up, guys. I wanna give you guys a closer look. It's so cute and it's actually Pokemon. So we were at Target, I'm gonna keep procrastinating. Getting, you know, household stuff, water, some other stuff. I'm like, I'm not gonna buy any pops. You know, I've been buying a lot lately and I could not resist. So I walked in there, I got a 10 inch pop, Pokemon, I'm very excited about it. And then I got another pop I wanted and I was like, oh, I can't get two pops. My birthday's coming up. I'm so excited, November 22nd, market calendars. I'm so freaking excited, guys. I love my birthday. I have lots of pops coming my way, hopefully. But Kevin's like, you know what? You really want that pop? Let me buy it for you as an early birthday gift. Oh my God, like two weeks in advance. I'm so excited, it's so cool. So I'll show you that one last, uh, or after this first one. But the first one I picked up for myself was 10 inch Cubone. He's out of the box already. I unboxed him when I got home. I could not wait. As you guys can see, I have a huge, huge Pokemon collection here. Don't have everything, but I'm doing really, really good with my Pokemon collection. 10 inch Pokemon, I'm doing even better with, I think. Oh, after this one, I only need Mewtwo. I just haven't seen Cubone a lot, so I really wanted to get him. But this is a close-up look of Cubone. So as you can see, the detail is awesome. It obviously looks just like the normal 3-4 inch uh, figure of him. I love the bone, it's so funny. For a 10 inch pop though guys, I will say it's a little bit smaller. Like if you put this next to the Hulk or one of the Thanos is back there, it's definitely smaller. But I feel like a lot of the Pokemon 10 inch pops that have been coming out are a little smaller. So there is Cubone. So I'll put him off to the side and I'm also going to show you this other pop I caught and I'm so excited. I've been doing really good with my Yu-Gi-Oh line. It's time to duel. You guys know it. I love it. I have a 
Meta is mother freaking black dragon. Ah, I'm so glad. I will take this one out so you guys can see it. So the detail is insane on this. I love it. It's huge. It looks way too big for the box. Wouldn't have minded a six inch red eyes black dragon, just like we got a six inch Exodia in some of the god monsters. Overall, I, I love this pop. It's just as cool as blue eyes, if not cooler. Eh, I can't pick which one I like more. They're both awesome. But one of Joey's favorite cards, Red Eyes Black Dragon, man, I can't do the voice. But I just, I, I love the Yu-Gi-Oh line. So much nostalgia for me, guys. I was very happy to get that. Thank you again, Catherine, as my early birthday gift. All right, to the really crazy stuff. We have two awesome unboxings, like I told you guys. This one isn't as good. I usually do the not so good ones first, but I've been making you guys procrastinate, so. So if you guys don't know, they did a lottery to get onto the NYCC Virtual Con. If you got in, you got con sticker pops. My buddy Richard hooked me up with a few of them. I got an awesome Wonder Woman. I got an awesome Recyclops. He sent me tons of other pops. If you haven't watched that video, do so. It's crazy. However, on top of that, I was even more fortunate and I was lucky enough, I checked out on Funko's website. They had some left over from the Virtual Con. Not everything sold out. They're supposed to come with con stickers. I got two pops. I don't know how I did it. I was driving home from NYCC. I handed my phone to my buddy Christian. He was able to check out. I know I'm talking extremely fast. I have the open box cutter. I gotta be careful. I'm just really excited. So there should be at least two con stickers in here left over from virtual con that I was able to get. They're crazy awesome pops. Okay, they're awesome. They're very cool and they're most likely not coming out of the box. And I also picked up a pop that I don't know if it's gonna come with a con sticker. So it's almost like a mystery. It was an only you could get it at Funko Shop. So I do, it's probably gonna come with a shared sticker, but I think there is a chance of getting the con sticker. But we're guaranteed at least two of these to have. Okay, so here we go. I'm so excited. Oh man, guys, we got $10. Okay, so this is, look, what is going on here? This is, this is weird. Okay, so we have like really different size boxes. We have this, which Usually this means it's a con sticker, and then we have a normal sorter, so this probably isn't a con sticker. So I'm gonna put the normal one aside for now. This is what we have here. So this is most likely a con sticker. It, usually the con stickers ship in this weird sorter. I'm gonna put there. And then we have this, which is really odd. This is strange. Something came in this too. So we have three completely different boxes from the Mungo Shop. These all came in the same box. One, two, and then three, a normal sorter. If you guys have seen this before, let me know. This is strange. All right, I'm gonna get the hype going. I'm gonna open this one first. This should be a con sticker. I am looking first. It's most likely not coming out of the box, guys. I don't care. Dislike the video. Whatever you wanna do, it's not coming out. One, two. Nope, not on two. Come on, three. Oh, it's the back. Oh, it's a con sticker. I know it's like expected, but I'm still excited. Oh, is it sexy. Oh, whoa. I'm excited, that is a huge win, guys. Oh my God, let me put this down gently. Okay, come on, just be in good shape. Oh, okay, I'll give you guys a closer look. It's not coming out of the box. We have a Venomized Magneto, which is insane. And it is minty fresh. It is going in a stack or some sort of protector right away. So this is one that was left over from Virtual Con, guys. It did not sell out. Okay, I'll give you guys a little bit of a closer look. He's not coming out. So that is the Zombie Magneto from, um, not zombie, venomized Magneto. If I said zombie a bunch, I'm sorry. There's a bunch of zombie pops I've been seeing. And as you guys can see, it has the official New York Comic Con sticker. It's just so awesome. I just, I love con stickers, guys. There's nothing better. So, an awesome start, guys. I'm very excited. I'm very excited. I just, I, I, I can't, I mean, this is, this is one that needs to come out because the box doesn't do it justice, but I, I honestly just can't take it out, guys. I'm sorry. I can't do it. We're going to grab this sorta because this is the non-con sticker, I believe. I wish I didn't know ahead of time. It'd bring more hype. So, here we go. We have, okay, it is the shared sticker. Still an awesome pop that's going to an awesome cause so just be in good shape okay this is a little bit rough come on guys come on funko a little bit a little bit not that terrible so we have the breast cancer awareness joker new york comic con i'm so excited this is the first one from this set i do want to get all of them because they do have the proceeds going to breast cancer in celebration of breast cancer awareness month funko has made a twenty-five thousand dollars donation to the breast cancer research foundation whose mission is to prevent and cure breast cancer by advancing the world's most promising research. So that's awesome. Uh, Funko, that's awesome. You guys should do more pops like this. I think that's really cool. And it's a really good looking pop. I mean, I love pink, okay? So that's number one. I absolutely think that's an amazing cause to go to, okay? So that's, that's really good at Funko. And overall, it's just a real, I love DC Comics. I love the Joker. It's a good chance of getting this pop if you don't have the normal one already that came out years ago. 
So overall, very cool. That one I was able to take out, guys, just because, you know, it's not a con sticker. If it's not a con sticker, it's coming out. We have one more here, guys, that should be a con sticker. All right, so I don't really know why they shipped it like this. On the other side, it says what it is. This pop is crazy. I kind of wish it wasn't a con sticker so I could take it out for you guys, but it's not coming out. All right, oh, okay, so that's really weird. So they shipped it in this box and then shipped it in one of these. I don't know what that's about. Let me know if you guys bought from Funko Shop, if that happened to you guys. That's a little odd. I'm doing it again. Alrighty. Oh, I'm starting to love these type of sodas. They're not nearly as good as the other ones, but oh my god. Oh yeah! Woo! I don't know how I've had these sitting here and didn't open them. Oh my god, they might be even more mintier than the Venomized Magneto. We have Red Fricking Goblin. Oh my god, let me take a look. I, let me get a closer look first. Oh my god, it's beautiful. Oh my god, absolutely beautiful. I think the DC Pops for NYCC were a little bit better than Marvel, but I'm telling you guys, these Marvel Pops in person, if you don't have them, grab them now. This is awesome. We go. Look at the side of the box first, okay? That is so cool. Such a cool looking pop. Love the box art. I'll try to give you guys a closer look here. Sorry about the viewfinder. There's me. You can see me. Sorry. Don't care. Not coming out of the box, guys. But that's him. He's very cool. He is going into a stack and or a protector right away. And I mean, that's just awesome. I, I'm honestly shocked I was able to get both of these with con stickers. I really didn't think I was going to be able to. I guess they must have just had a good amount left over. And then we also have the Breast Cancer Joker. That is very cool. And I almost forgot actually, we have one more package to open quick before the end of the video, so don't go anywhere. Alrighty guys, it is hot in here. I have so many awesome pops. I'm gonna do this one real quick. So this is just one pop, and this is actually also from NYCC. Figured we'd do it all in one video. These have been sitting like I told you. I don't know how I've had them sitting for so long. So here we go. So it's in a sorter. You can always use sorters. I love when you get new sorters. I use so many of them. Okay. So this is an awesome pop. We're gonna continue with the Pokemon line. You guys can probably guess by now. I think, I'm gonna give away a little bit. I think the flock on this is gonna be insane and I am excited. Oh, yeah! I really wish this had a con sticker. This is an awesome pop. All right, so here we go. Is it Minta Lee? It is about as minty fresh as it can get. So I, I'll take this one out for you guys because it's just too cute not to take out. So we have the flocked Growlithe from Pokemon. So I think there's only like one more flocked pop I think I need it. Oh my god of almighty, I just looked on the back of the box and there is a crease. Oh, I hate when they do that. Oh my god, this did, I don't even think this sold out so there's no reason I should have got one of the best boxes. Salty, yes, a little bit. It's okay. Uh, there is a box lunch that just opened near me. I might have to go to box lunch for the first time. It's like 45 minutes away. So I'd love to start going in person, but I usually have to order all my box lunch pops online just because I can't get them in person, but now they open the store. Overall guys, I really like this pop. It's awesome. The flock is awesome on Growlithe. One of my favorite Pokemons, I will say Arcanine is definitely one of my tops. Growlithe is right there too. Just such a like, cool Pokemon. Who wouldn't love that? So the Pokemon set is looking amazing guys, and I love Pokemon, so we're all good. Alrighty, Pop Academy. That was an awesome video. As you can tell, I was very happy through most of it. Uh, I was so excited to get those unboxed. So, Make sure to smash the like button, guys. Subscribe if you haven't already, okay? We got other awesome content coming, and make sure to let me know about the Pokemon deal. If you guys want to see more Pokemon, that would get so hype here. That's the only thing. I might be too hyped just because I get excited with mystery boxes, so packs might be, oh, I might not be able to handle that. But let me know down below if you want to see that. And also comment, let me know how your pop are going, your pop hauls, how your day's going, whatever you guys want to talk about. Love talking with you guys. That is going to wrap it up, though, unfortunately, Academy. So until next time, Thanks for getting funky with me. I love you guys. Bye.